Hey people, welcome to my channel, Wisconsin Small Engine Nut. I'll be bringing you a lot more of videos like this, fixing something. I'll probably be doing a maintenance on this Kawasaki generator. I'll have all kinds of stuff coming up for you. It's not going to be just Honda, but probably a lot of it will be Honda. So this is a co-worker snowblower and it's a Yard Max 22 inch, probably like an MTD. It's a cheaper snowblower, but can't get it running. So I'm going to see what I can do here. Um, I could try it first, I suppose, but I'll probably end up pulling and pulling and pulling. Chokes it on there. Fuel's on. Got lots of fuel. I'll open the door if it starts. I don't hear anything going on there. Check the oil quick. All right, let's see what happens here. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of pulling. All right, so I got my friend here. Starting fluid. Or start you bastard, you know. They actually make start you bastard. In uh, I was gonna get some one time. I think it's in Australia, but it was astronomical to ship it here. But otherwise, it does exist. Just made in a different country. So this one's kind of odd because it has an air filter, and most snowblowers don't have an air filter. They have an air box, but they don't run a filter because they're not work. They're not using the dusty conditions. I shouldn't say most. Most of the ones that I've seen don't have one, but I don't mean that there's a lot of them that do that don't or do. Okay. Oh, this gasket isn't in place. That's not good. One thing I noticed I don't care for, I'll probably fix before I bring it back. Is it works pretty good one way, this way. Then this way, I get stuck. So I'm going to take that off and paint it and grease it, I think. Because that should turn easily. Yeah, it's tight on the other side. Well, there's this adjustment right here, too. Probably loosen that up a little bit. But I think it should be greased too. Adjustment here. That one's loose there. So it's probably too tight for one thing. Now it should be greased. Now here's the air cleaner. So I'm wondering why not even priming. You know, I hear it. Try it again here once. Yeah, 
Here she went. The reason why I turned it off is because I got my kitty cat out in the garage here. And he's not a fan of loud noises. But he was just meowing up a storm and he had to come out here, so. All right. Try that again, I don't have kitty cat. here. Surprised it started that easy. The choke is on full blast. Let's try some more primes. Okay, so it wants choke, at least for now. We'll start in for the time. Oh, what a turd. She's being stubborn. Yeah, she don't want to go. Definitely don't want to. So, I knew before going into this, that it needed at least half choke just to run decent. So, might as well go at the carb. It's probably dirt in the carb, most likely. I'm taking this, I took this hose off here. Here. Let's take her right here. Pull the whole thing off. 
Set you up over here, I think. So, can be metric or standard? This is the question. You never know with these. Ten fits pretty good. Ten's pretty common. Usually the even numbers are more common. You gotta push the choke and the fuel switch over. Keep this off. No. Look at this thing. That's the crank case breather right here. It's dry rotted. And what that does is it vents the crank case and it goes back into the air box back into the carb just for emissions but it's all dry rotted which means that it's got an air leak there so not only can it suck in dirt let's see how it gets routed here I'm not sure it either goes right into the carb or it goes into the air box and gets filtered but I think it goes direct well, now with this off I can pull the carb off and I'd be curious to see if it's going to be dirty I worked on an errands for a person and it was a couple years old about brand new she couldn't get it running and Cut the carb off and the, there was a bunch of stuff in the bowl. So, <clears throat> you never know. I'm gonna take this car off here. This is the actual fuel line. This is the, the clamp for it. I don't suppose it's gonna be fun to get that off of there. I have a set of these. These are gear wrenches and they're made for grabbing the hose it's round like this and that way it doesn't pinch it or kink it or shouldn't tear it as easy it usually works pretty good because you can get in the only thing is this might be too small of a hose i think it's the, that's the case linkage to deal with too here so I got several problems I don't like that I'm gonna take this gasket off here pretty wet so it was definitely getting fuel Alright, now I gotta deal with the linkage problem. I got the fuel line off. I just put a vice grip on it. Not the right thing to do, but 
when do I ever do the right thing, right? Spring is off. And I think it'll come up if I go way over like this. Yep. So here comes Mr. Carb. All right. I smell old gas. Might be from that though. I'm thinking about 10 millimeters probably one. I'll probably wish that I loosened it up while it was on it. Or is it drain? I believe this one's the drain. Yeah. I have a solution for him. Look how easy. Oh my god. I'll put a little bit here for you. Did you see what came out? It looked like someone threw up. Looks like someone threw up in there. Let's take the bowl off. It's probably gonna look just as bad. It's, gonna, it's probably gonna be real bad. See that? Not only are we dealing with dirt, there's water as well. The water, it beads up, sticks together. Look what's in there. I think he put crappy gas in there. That's what I think. I'm going to have to tell him to stop using crap gas. All right. I should probably go in a burning barrel or something. Although it will dry out. I won't smell anymore after that. All right. So now, hold this gas up. I don't have to smell it. Still gonna smell this though. Okay. Get this guy out. Basically, you're just taking it apart. There's a floating needle. I'm probably not gonna find a whole lot. I'm just gonna clear out these passages. Clean this up. Clear out the jets. And not Benny and the Jets. Benny and the Jets. So for that, I will use rags and compressed air and whatever, whatever I need to. And if, it, if you ever get where you have to gasket tears or whatever, go to a small engine shop. Usually they'll have what you need, otherwise you can order it too. I know ordering sucks though, because then you gotta wait. It's rust. I'll show you. I don't have my. 
I'll let my picks here. I'll find something to go in there. Just do that real work. So what I'm going to take apart here, I don't think I need to do this, is all this does is open this butterfly valve for your throttle. And this one's a choke one. But ones that I do believe are important are, this one's a fuel shut off. And there could be some of that in there. And then all the little passageways and jets, there's a jet in here. So you got to take this out. And that. One in here, that's your main one. And then definitely make sure that where the needle seats in there is clear. That's going to blow up out here where the fuel comes in. This is the primer one. The primer one should dump fuel right in the throat here. So when it sucks the air, it gets fuel. It just It's pretty much just squirting open gas in there. Pretty much doing what you do with, with starting a fluid. It's just with gas. I know if you're an experienced person, you already know this stuff, but I'm making these videos for people that don't know it well or trying to do something they've never done before. Trying to save some money going to a small engine shop. And I'm not a pro by any means, but I've been doing this kind of stuff. I remember I had power and energy in school. I'm 42 years old now, so. Uh, I just like taking stuff apart, fixing it, putting it together. I enjoy that. Yeah, here you can see, see that bead? There's water on there. So the water separates from the gas. I think he told me he put some some older fuel in it too and it's like oh it's not worth everybody wants to use the fuel because it's not free but it is not worth having to go through this for a little bit of fuel for three dollars worth of not even that it's three dollars a gallon it probably doesn't even hold a gallon for a couple bucks so I don't understand why people do that that gas that was if you got old gas just use it for lighting a bonfire or something or burn some brush up or I don't know watching your hands <laughs> when you got grease on them that's what we used to do when I was a kid the wire brush in there look at that stuff and my friend co-worker that one that owns this blower it's not out of luck for blowing because I gave him my Toro to use so he's got a blower Use when we get snow, and we did get a couple storms now. Just stuff just keeps coming out. Some of it's probably in this these threads here too. Okay, so this jet came out of here. 
not fully open. You can see a little bit of light through it. So, it's definitely some stuff that's plugged here. You gotta find one that fits in here. That's always fun. Not. Something with a thinner base or a set. It doesn't have this push out here. It usually works. I'm just not a fan of them because they always seem to be in so tight. I hate that. Good, my gun worked on it. Got her in here. She's got a little snap and out she came. Yeah, look at the rust and stuff in there. Here's the main nozzle. So all those little holes have to be open for it to run decent. That actually looks pretty good, surprisingly. Well, now I'm almost at the point where I'm done taking it apart. I'll take those two out yet, get all the crap out of there. If you ever get stumped putting it back together, just see if you can find a parts diagram online. Usually you can see what it where everything goes. She get plugged it with down a ways. I think I'd be okay just blowing it out now. All right, so I got some compressor pumped up. You don't need a lot of pressure for this either. Kind of get the outside nice and clean. And you don't have to worry about it going inside and screwing up what you just did. That yeah, looks pretty good. So now we're going to do the fuel inlet. Good. This is the one where the jet was. This is the needle goes. Anyway, you get the idea. It's probably loud and annoying. Then do all the stuff and make sure you hold on to it. So we want through here. All those little holes. Shine light through it on the other side. You know, like this. Make sure they're all clear. Or look into the light, whatever. If it's not, take a... You got a little pick. Otherwise, you can even take wire like this 
and just the strands are small enough to go in there like that just make sure everything's open very important you don't want even one of them partially blocked Looks pretty good now. Put your clean stuff in a pile. This one right here is nothing. And there's a hole here, meaning it's plugged. And that one I think is your idle, which explains why it didn't idle for very good or at all. Yes, I do. They're probably too big though. Still gonna need to use a wire. Just that small. Okay, so it doesn't actually go through. It's capped off here on the top. So the bottom goes, feeds the sides here. Just make sure they're all open. Even a wire brush works. And that's why I couldn't see light through it. Be able to see the wire through that hole on the sides. And you know, at least it's somewhat open. Let's put it back together. I'm not gonna show you that. I'm just gonna do it and show you what's done. All right, when you put it back together though, just don't use the impact for stuff like that. Use your, use your ratchet. Well, you don't want that breaking off. That one would be good. Gasket. Always good when you don't have any leftover parts, right? 